It's finally time to export our animation, so let's learn how actually to do that properly. Tip -tot. Hello everybody and welcome back to TipTot and to Intro to Adobe Animate 2021. In this episode, we're finally ready to export our animation and there's a few options on how to do that, depending on where and how you want to use it. So no theory this time, let's just jump right into the how. Number nine, exporting and publishing options. Okay, so here we are, we have finished our animation and we are ready to export it. Now, we've got here our sort of bouncing in and out camera motion, we've added our sound. I've just muted it for now because obviously it's gonna, you don't wanna hear for the, next five minutes while I'm chatting. Um, we've added color, we've done our shapes, done tweening, we've done uh, frame by frame. We're finished. We've just got to actually export the damn thing. Now, uh, 2021 has added some new features for quick export, which I'll show you first, and then we'll go through the full exporting options. So first step when it comes to exporting is to make sure that you have saved your project, okay? Once your project is saved and it is safe, for some reason it is stuck on 25%, so let's just wait for that. Okay, wow, that took a long time, not sure why. Um, once it is saved, you can get ready for a quick export. Now up in your top right hand side of your interface, you've got here the quick share and publish. So if you click that, you've got social share and you've got publish. If you choose publish, you can choose between a video or an animated GIF. I'll just click video, hit publish. Uh, it will get ready the video, get the video ready for export and then open up Adobe Media Encoder for you. Pop that file in Adobe Media Encoder and export it and tell you that it's done. You can then click the file and it'll open it up in Windows Explorer and you can check out the file and see your exported animation, which is pretty cool. OK, really nice, quick export, which is great. GIF works in the same way. It just gives you a GIF instead of a video. Share on social currently supports Twitter and YouTube. Um, if you click YouTube, it will literally just make a video and upload it for you. So I never do that. But you could pop it up on Twitter if you wanted to sign into your Twitter account, give it a description and some hashtags and things like that. Hit share and it shares it. Really simple. I'm not going to do it because this one isn't finished um, and I don't want it on my Twitter feed. Okay. Now, social share, easy peasy, but we want proper export options where we get control over what we export. Now, there are several ways you would usually export, but I'll just talk about publishing first. If you go to your publish settings, you'll notice there's a few options here that you probably want to check. You're always going to have a Swift export, that's just a standard Flash export. You can export all these other types of options as well whenever you do publish. But these advanced options are probably the most um, important. We talked about our audio last time, but do you want to compress your movie? That's usually checked. I've never really noticed a difference between compressed and uncompressed. Include hidden layers is probably the most important one. For this one, we do not want to include hidden layers because we have our sketches on hidden layers and things like that. And if you want to take something into After Effects, you're better off checking the Optimize for After Effects button. Then when you hit OK, you can go to File, Publish, and it will create all of that Publish stuff for you. And basically, it's just a finished and complete way of doing the same thing when you press Control Enter and test your film, apart from it gives you all the supporting stuff as well. If you want to export as a MP4 or as an image sequence, you just go to File, Export. Export an image will just export the current frame that you're on, which is kind of useless unless you're making a thumbnail or something. Export Movie is what will give you your PNG sequence. OK, so you can see here from a previous uh, animation, I exported a PNG sequence. This is quite useful because if your export is very long and it crashes overnight or something, you'll still have, you know, everything up until the point where it crashes will be totally fine because it'll be individual PNGs. Whereas if you did it as a video and it crashed, you'd lose everything. So you'd hit save and it would just export as a series of PNGs there. OK, you then bring those PNG sequences into Premiere Pro or After Effects and compile them and it will create your footage for you. The most... Uh, Export animated GIF has kind of been overtaken by the quick share published. We won't go over that. Export scene as asset will export your entire document as an asset that you can load in the assets panel. You'll find it under um, all objects. And it's like bringing a rig or bringing a um, symbol from another project into this project. But you can see here I have a scene from another animation that I've exported as an asset. I can drag this entire scene into my document and it will bring it out for you. For example, if I say um, insert timeline scene and I drag out this here, it might take a second before it drops, but uh, it will drag out every frame, symbol, piece of animation, whatever that we have from that other project into this one, which can be quite powerful. Do we want that? No. 
I now want to delete this scene as well because when I go to export it, it will export this scene. So I'll just hit delete. Okay. Uh, what I want is file export video slash media. And that's going to export this for us. It will open up a window. Uh, I'm just going to cancel and just stop this from playing so it doesn't loop forever. File export video slash media. This is the one you'll use probably most of the time. It will allow you to change your render size. So you can double the size to say 4K if you wanted to. Um, you can export the entire movie or individual scenes. So I could have just exported that one scene, but I like to export the entire movie. If you do an individual scene, you can choose the frame range or you can choose the time range to export, but we're going to export the entire movie. H.264 or H.265 are the best formats for the internet. So we'll leave it on H.264. And you can do default AME, which is um, Adobe Media Encoder. It will just do a default H.264 export. You choose your output path. In this case, I want it to just go into Intro to Adobe Animate 2021 and then into this folder here. And we can just hit export with this checked and it will again open up Media Encoder for you, which I can tab to now. Add your file, automatically export it, and then you can click your file to open it up and you'll have your file exported. OK, now. The only other thing you might want to do is take it into After Effects, add some textures or something like that to it. But that's a different story, a different subject. We have now pretty much covered publishing your file. So well done. Very massive congratulations. You have made it to the end of Intro to Adobe Animate 2021 and you have an animation which you have made from scratch by yourself from start to finish. You should be very, very proud. Check out some of my other videos on my more advanced tutorial series about animate or um, motion graphics or whatever it is you want. Leave a comment saying what you liked or didn't like about this series so that I can improve when I make the next one. And hopefully I'll see you next time for another episode of Tip Tut. If you found this useful, please stick around and you'll hear a little bit about membership to the Tip Tut Zone, which hopefully you'll consider and help to keep the channel strong and supported throughout the future. Cheers, everyone, and I'll see you next time. An absolutely colossal and massive thank you to my level two members, WN62, Anonymous, Melem Hoover, Maybe Shower, Ratlika M, Ian Costello, Dushant Singe, Lone Wolf 16, Starry Tichi, Katmar, and JK Digital Creations. Your kindness cannot be overstated, and I am forever grateful. Thank you so much. If you'd like to become a member of the Tip Tut Zone, become a Tip Titan yourself for exclusive perks, just click that join button below. for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.